Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. You can see a ginger in the background. That's Sermon. Um, I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's who are in the FA Cup, our competition. The FA Cup, which Wimbledon, um, before they were dismantled um, and shamefully, criminally moved uh, as, as a franchise to Milton Keynes, uh, the, the FA Cup, uh, we won it. God, please stop making me look at Majewski's hair. It's killing me. Um, we, won that, we won that competition in a uh, stunning one-of-a-kind, life-defining upset of Liverpool becoming FA Cup champions. And uh, we did it again, beating Manchester City when we were in League One. And we're going to try to do it this year. But first, we've got to beat Nottingham Forest. So we've got Seb Brown in goal, of course. He saved two penalties against Luton Town to send us into the league. Um, we've got Dimashellis and Rocker uh, anchoring our defense. We've got Correa, uh, select uh, is it selectively or electively? electively mute uh Correa um we still don't really have a great song for him except maybe um uh 27 seconds of silence to uh honor him I don't know um and then we've got uh, John Green and John Green up front teammates in life and in love father uh to a, a baby he's sick actually little JJ he couldn't come to the game today because of his he's not feeling very well hold on I'm getting a phone call hold on hold on hold on hold on just want to make sure it's not the babysitter it could be the babysitter. Nope, it's uh, CVS. It's CVS. No need to panic, guys. It's just my prescription for my crazy pills. Okay. Um, uh, lots of people. Oh, ah, good job. Okay, that's not good. So um, I want to talk about, I was so impressed with that pass for a second, but then it was terrible. Um, I want to talk today about uh, why, like, what we're trying to do here and why we're trying to do it. Um, I love Wimbledon. There was some negative reaction to the news that I borrowed 10 million bucks to uh, and am now going to try to achieve glory. I love uh, AFC Wimbledon, and obviously, like, sometimes ambition proves destructive. But, like, I think what we learned from the Gatsby period, for those of you who weren't watching, I got fouled right there. For those of you who weren't watching back in the Swindon Town days, I got fired as the manager of Swindon Town because I went crazy and had a sort of like, um, of course you can repeat the past. Um, basically, I started to believe that you could repeat the past. I started like getting a lot of like our old players just because I liked them as people and hiring gingers just because they were beautiful and gingy. And um, then I got fired as the manager of Swindon Town, and and also like fans revolted. It was it was cray cray. Um, did I use that correctly, Meredith? Meredith says yes, but I mean, I almost feel like Meredith isn't even young anymore, really. Why are you are you injured? Oh no! Panic the golden child. How hurt is he? How hurt is he? How, oh, it's just a band aid. Man up, man up, golden child. See if you can walk it off. All right, just get up and try to walk it off. You'll be fine. It's, you know, this is the same thing I do with my, my eight-year-old son. Um, no, Henry's five, and the golden child is eight. That's the difference between them. Otherwise, Henry would be playing professional soccer. Um, so uh, I just got – this is this was ridiculous, the amount of fouling that's going on in this game. See, the golden child's on the ball, and he's fine. He's literally fine. He just – just fell down for a minute. Oh my gosh, actually, he's more than fine. Something about being injured seems to have made him into a genius. Oh, pass, pass the sir. Oh, golden child. God, he just, he's not, he's very fast, but he lacks discipline like a lot of children. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I saw in comments that some of you guys are worried about the borrowing of the money and the promising of, of big results and everything because obviously, you know, we've gotten here by growing sustainably. And I understand that. I want to continue to grow sustainably. I don't, you know, I don't want to go crazy or anything. Um, but I don't think it's unrealistic. Oh, that's a great cross to no one. Um, Sermon has a lot to work on in his game, but he's going to get there through through minutes um so i want to give him the chance to succeed and then bring on substitutes if he can't same thing with the golden child uh i really want to give these guys a chance to be great i mean sermon he's just so fast on the ball but his his touches are sometimes just a little oh oh yes ball john green show it to me yes shine his shoe 
Bald John Green, John Green, he gives it all for the team upon his mustache. We're keen. Bald John Green, John Green. It was a beautiful goal for a beautiful man. You know, he dedicated that to his son, JJ, who has a cold today. Couldn't make it to the game. Got the runny nose. It was very cute, his little runny nose. I find children's illnesses almost endearing. And I, I'm sure that's some kind of, like, evolutional biology thing to, like, help me keep the children alive or whatever. But I just, there's almost something sweet about it. Like, little JJ he clearly didn't know what was even happening, you know? He's just learning words now. He's just, he's got, like, uh got probably maybe like 20 words but um oh it's so cute it's so cute when they don't just don't they don't even they're just like why why am i being tortured by this and i'm like i love it, JJ. oh who knows why microbiology rules this great species of ours but it really does sometimes i feel like we're just vectors for parasites and nothing more um that it's more a story of parasites ruling the world than humans. I've gotten off topic. I, I, I keep meaning to talk about this $10 million, but um, I'm clearly in a dark place. But ball John Green with a fantastic goal. Uh, Sermon made the ball possible by putting a lot of pressure on the, um, the Nottingham Forest defense, and we're up 1-0. So, I mean, I don't want to be bold or anything. I don't, obviously, like, we're not going to win all our games in the run-in, but I kind of want to win all our games in the run-in. And so um, I told the guys in the locker room before the game, uh, my goal is, uh, I don't know, I, yeah, I, I understand that we're not going to win every game, uh, but I don't want to lose any of them. So I told them that was my goal. My goal is to go undefeated for the rest of the season. Um, that doesn't mean never drawing. It just means never losing. Uh, and I really believe that if we can do that, um, we, will, we will, A, we'll finish in the top four, B, we will be heroes to Wimbledon forever, and uh, C, and perhaps most importantly, um, we will achieve astonishing glory winning the Euro Cup, the FA Cup, the Capital One Trophy, and um, finishing in the top four of the Premier League. Now, is that impossible? Look, we're going to play a lot of teams that are, like, technically better than we are. Um, but they have, uh, they lack something that we have, like we've talked about before. Um, we have courage. We have discipline. And we, uh, we have players who really want to play for the shirt. These are people who actually, look at McLean. Look at McLean. He's not slow. Actually care about, that is a nice looking cross. Actually care about Wimbledon actually care about the fans know that this club is owned by its fans that it only exists because of its fans that it that that it is the club is nothing but its community and they love being a part of that community and they know that they are lucky as hell to be a part of that community i remember john mcclain's um catchphrase by the way in the movie die hard i can't believe you've never seen the movie die hard meredith that's weird um, did you ever see Die Hard 4? Oh, ball John Green! Ball John Green! Oh, show me how you do the robot. Oh, man. This is, everything is working out better than expected. 2-0 up against Nottingham Forest. Other John Green to ball John Green. John Green's John Green's ball. Another John Green's. They're the best forwards that Wimbledon has ever seen. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. This is great. And we're going to, you know what, Meredith? We're going to make substitutions to keep everybody healthy and happy. So this is, this, these substitutions are not about making our team better. They are all about uh, saving tired players, um, and I'm very excited about that. We're going to bring in uh, DeFilippo. DeFilippo? DeFilippo? Mer we just uh, still not confident about his name. We're going to take out Correa. He's too talented to screw with. Uh, maybe bring on some less more. It feels like it's just the right amount of more for this situation. And then, uh, yeah, so then we're going to, I wish we could do more substitutions than three, but whatever. Somebody else made the rules, not me. Um, but that's a great, this is, this is another great example. This is since, since the new Wimbly Womblies with McLean and DiFilippo or possibly DiFilippo and uh, selectively mute uh, Correa, we, um, we are undefeated, and we've scored seven goals in two games. I mean, that's pretty exciting, including five of them in Europe. 
Correa, I'm not, it's not because you're not playing well. Don't get mad. It's because I'm trying to protect your beautiful knees, your awesome hamstrings, your stunning, impressive, almost, dare I say it, titillating thighs. I'm just trying to make sure that you're well, okay? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to give you the hoozy what's. Um, so, yeah. Oh, right. John McClain's, uh, John McClain's, it's, uh, uh, this is what it is. I remember it. It's yippee ki Mother Snoomer. But you don't say Snoomer. You say the F word. Um, but I don't want to say that because then you'd have to bleep it, Meredith. And that's, I know that's a lot of work. So we got to think of a, if McLean ever scores a goal, which he probably won't just from his position, but got to think of something like that. That's not a foul. I just gave him a little body hug. Come on, let's see a replay. It's the golden child being like, hey, I love you. Yes, it's, what else is what else good to do in that situation? No room for no room for love in this game anymore. Oh, don't worry. Seb Brown has that covered. Take your time, Seb. Take your time. We're winning, and it's not even particularly close. If anything, if I were Nottingham Forest, I'd, at this point, I'd just be worried about the size of the deficit. Look at McLean. Yippee! Nope, I was ready to say it, but he missed the shot. Oh, that was a great ball to McLean, and I mean, you couldn't have been better positioned for it. Yippee! Nope, still, still didn't happen. Still didn't go in. Oh, thank God they're bringing off that terrible haircut. So delighted that that guy isn't going to. Oh God, I can't handle looking at it. Oh, thank God they brought in somebody else. It's over. Our long national nightmare has come to an end. Um, so how do you? What? What? What is the? Uh, what? Is, I wonder what the. Um, uh, why aren't we playing a little more defensively, given that we're up by two? I wonder what the uh, sort of family-friendly version of Yippee ki is. Oh, I said it! Whoops! Golden Child! Oh, my God! It's a beautiful night in Bethlehem! Oh, a baby has been born in a manger, and there is a star above that manger, and three wise men are traveling to that star with gold and frankincense and myrrh because a beautiful thing has happened. The golden child has scored a goal. Oh, silent night, holy night, all is well, all Round yon virgin mother and child, the golden child hath scored a goal. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Still working on the lyrics, but I think I, I think I like the tune. Um, <laughs> that was one of the best things. That was probably. Oh God! Could he do it again? No, it's Di Filippo. Oh, almost four 0 Oh my God! The new Wimbly Womblies. I love it. I love playing with you guys, champions. I even love your haircut, Callum Kennedy. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.